hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own diy softbox and if you guys are interested in the way that i created my softbox then please stay tuned so the materials that you are going to need are some glue sticks a hot glue gun some scissors any type of glue or tape, preferably super glue because it dries quicker. Wax paper. LED light bulbs. And some clamp lights. These are the eight and a half version clamp lights. and it's by a company named Bayco. Okay, so first things first, where you're gonna wanna make sure that you plug your glue gun into the wall because this can save us time while we're gathering our other materials. Next, get your wax paper and you're gonna wanna pull out a sheet that's big enough to fit the perimeter of the clamp light. If the tags get in the way, go ahead and cut them off just so you'll be able to trace around the perimeter better. Now we can start tracing. So if you would like, you can go around twice just to make sure you have a dark enough line to cut out. But I think I went around twice, maybe even three times. <laughs> Also guys, don't forget to peel off any hazardous stickers. I know that this is something that could have been done before um, we started the tutorials when we were gathering everything, or it also could be done in the end. But make sure you peel those off because those could possibly catch on fire and you don't want that to happen. Then after you're done peeling off the stickers, make sure that you test out your light bulbs just to make sure that they work. Some light bulbs can come with defects and you want to make sure that you have a light bulb that is in good working conditions for you to use. And here we can see that the light bulb is in good condition, so we're ready to go. Now is the fun part. We are going to glue around the edges of the wax paper. I made a mistake by using this glue gun and going around the edges of the clamp light and you do not want to do that. Get some of this all purpose glue and trace the edges of the wax paper, not the clamp light. If you don't have some of this all purpose glue, that's where the super glue or the tape comes in handy. And if you don't have super glue or tape, then use the glue gun. The reason why the glue gun is the last option is because when you turn on your clamp light, the heat from the light bulb causes the glue gun stick to melt. And if you mix heat with the hot glue gun stick, then of course it's gonna melt. So here I'm just finishing up tracing the perimeter of the wax paper with glue. You want to make sure you get a good coat on so you can stick this on the edge of the clamp light. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Remember, your light bulb should be placed on the inside already. And allow the glue to dry somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. 
And after you're done doing that, this is what it should look like in the end. And I went ahead and compared the two. On the left is the one with the wax paper over it, and on the uh, white, <laughs> and on the right is the one without the wax paper. So you can see the difference in the lighting on both clamp lights. You can see the one that's on the left is less exposed than the one that's on the right. So keep this in mind when you are choosing to use the wax paper or not. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, subscribe. Come be a savage. Um, look out for my upcoming hair review and some product reviews. Bye.